on a chilly February evening in 1851, the sounds of music filled the grand halls of the Stadt Theater in Dusseldorf, Germany. This popular cultural hub hosted the debut of Robert Schumann's Symphony No. 3 in E-flat major. Known to many as the Rhenish Symphony, Schumann took the stage, wielding his conductor's baton, leading the Dusseldorf Orchestra in a musical tour de force. The Rhenish Symphony was Schumann's final symphonic work, and it was unlike anything the audience had ever heard before. This innovative piece was a departure from traditional classical symphonic form. With Schumann's imaginative musical language and imaginative orchestration leading the way. With the addition of local folk instruments, Schumann not only defined the musical style of the Romantic era, but also reflected a growing nationalistic spirit in music. Schumann's travels in the Rhineland region inspired this masterful work. Each movement tells a different story taking listeners on a journey through the region's diverse landscapes and rich cultural heritage. With its references to local folk music, Schumann created a symphony that was both lyrical and powerful. Filled with captivating melodies, towering climaxes, and lively dance-like passages, the premiere of Rhenish Symphony was a triumph with Schumann's music being greeted with enthusiastic applause from the audience. Some even shouted, Hurrah! in excitement, while others clapped between each movement in appreciation. Critics were equally as effusive in their praise, recognizing the work's musical significance and innovative spirit. Although the exact date of the premiere has been a point of contention over the years, with some historical accounts placing it on February 6th, 1851, and others on February 2nd, the Rhenish Symphony was first performed in Dusseldorf during the first week of February 1851. Schumann himself conducted the performance, leading the musicians in a musical celebration that has since become a symbol of Romantic era composition. The Rhenish Symphony remains an important and beloved work in the classical music repertoire, a testament to Schumann's musical genius and innovative spirit. These are Interesting Things with J.C.